I am Anil Kumar sharing with you the concepts of curved surface area of a sphere. We have four questions and after this you could actually watch some more videos which connect surface area and volume for a sphere. But in these four questions we will understand all the concepts which you need to know to solve any question based on curved surface area of a sphere. Question number one is derive the formula for the curved surface area of a sphere. So that is the very first question. The area is 4 pi r square. We know area is 4 pi r square, but how do we derive it, right? That is the first question. Question number two. Find the surface area of a sphere with radius 20 centimeter. So if we are given the radius, it is very easy to find the area. Question three. Assume that Earth is a sphere of radius 6370 kilometers. Find the surface area of the Earth. So you can put R as 6374 in the formula and find the area. Ratio of land to water surface area of Earth is 3 is to 1, right? So we are talking about land to water, correct? Land to water. Find the surface area of land on the earth. So once you get total surface area, you could divide it into parts so that you get area of both land and water. So this is very interesting which connects you with ratios. Question number four is a hemispheric ball. So hemispherical ball means half circle is made of steel 0.25 centimeter thick. The inner radius of the ball is 5 centimeters find the outer curved surface area of the ball. So that is very interesting application question. So basically when we are talking about spheres, we are talking about these circular balls, right? So it is kind of like this. So think like this, this is three dimensional, right? So it is kind of like this. Now when we say hemisphere, it means we are only talking about the top portion of it, right? So we just cut it apart and that is what we are talking about. Is it okay? So, well, ball, you could take the lower part or the upper part. Anyway, both will give you the same result. So, I hope you understand the concepts. You can now pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Let's begin with deriving the formula, which is very interesting. This is question number one. Derive the formula for a curved surface area of a sphere. So, you need to perform an experiment to really get the formula. Uh, there is no easy way out. We actually use uh, mathematical tools like calculus to find this formula. But here is how you can get an idea. So experiment to estimate. Correct. So let's take an orange. So that is easier to take. And what we will do is we'll just cut it into half. So we'll just cut it into half. So we'll get half of the orange. So when you slice it here, you basically, you could see that this is kind of like this, right? So let's say we have just cut this orange and we got hemisphere. Now in this hemisphere, take a good knife and then you peel the edges. So we peel edges, so small. So I'm making two different colors here uh, and I'll tell you why. So, so if you like peel off the orange, right? in this fashion. So forming these uh, concentric circles on the top as being shown here. So what I'll do is to quickly go through uh, my drawing, making bigger ones with one color and then uh, in between we'll fill up the other one. So I hope you got an idea why I'm using two different colors in this particular case. So when you do this, I mean, you just peel off, it is the same orange, what you get is all orange. And so the step is to peel and then you try to see how to place it on a piece of paper, right? So then you arrange it on a piece of paper, right? So, so what you will notice here that you will actually surprisingly get two circles. So that is why I used uh, two different colors to show you that in this case, when you peel, you actually get two, two circles, each with radius of 
r right so so if my radius of this sphere is let me say here r if r is the radius let's say all points are r units away right so in that case i get two circles with radius of r so that means one hemisphere surface area equals to two times area of circle right it's hard to believe but when you do it you will see that you can actually make two circles with that peel right and if you cut them small and try to place them in a circle you'll find that you can fill up two circles with that peel right so that's the whole idea so we know what is area of circle area of circle is pi r square so we get two times pi r square or two pi r square now this is the surface area of a hemisphere right so we get surface area of hemisphere so hemi means half right so so clearly what is the surface area of the sphere so now from this experiment we can say that surface area of sphere will be equal to two times the area of whenever I say area the surface area for three-dimensional things right surface area of hemisphere right so that is two times 2 pi r square so 2 times 2 is 4 so we get 4 pi r square right so that is the formula for us so now we'll use the formula that the surface area we say area in this case is equal to 4 pi r square for a sphere so that is how you can get an estimated value now to really get the mathematics of it you need to go to higher level maths right so at present we'll just stick to this perfect now let's take up the questions and solve them one by one now we know the formula at least we have some idea of how to get the formula find surface area of the sphere with radius of 20 so we know surface area i'll writing a for surface area is pi r square into 4 4 pi r square that means with that surface i could actually make four circles on my piece of paper correct so in our calculations we'll use pi as 3.14 we are given r as 20 centimeters so our area will be 4 times 3.14 times 20 square right and the units will be centimeter square so that is how we are going to get the area you need a calculator for this exercise so let's find the value 4 times 3.14 times 20 square is equal to 5024 centimeter square is that clear so that is how you're going to get your answer so let's move on and take the next question question number three assume that earth is a sphere of radius so we'll call this radius as 63 70 kilometers right so i use capital r this time find the surface area of earth so it is again four times pi r square which is the area we're talking about so we'll do 4 times 3.14 times 63 70 whole square right so that is the surface area so we can write surface area of earth right is that much so let's multiply these numbers 4 times 3.14 times 6370 square right so that gives you a huge number 509 let me write down 50964964 so that is the number right so we got uh, how many it is one two three four five six so 509 million approximately 510 million kilometer square right so so that is what we get so it's kilometer square is that okay 
So that is the value of the earth surface area. So we got the part A now, so which is 3A. So 3A is, 3A answer is 5, so you can say around, so we'll just approximate it, 510 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 million, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 kilometers square. So we'll work with this value. Is that okay? Clear? So we'll just approximate this to, these are all approximate values, correct? We are assuming Earth to be a sphere. Okay. Now next question is, B, ratio of land to water surface area of the Earth is 3 is to 1. So we are saying land to water ratio is 3 is to 1. Find the surface area of land. So what is the surface area of land? This is what we need to find. So I'd like you to pause the video and answer this question. So from here, how could you do it? So well, this means that the total is 3 plus 1, 4. So land is how much? So land is 3 fourth of area. Is that okay? So basically for land, we have to do 3 over 4. So don't do one third, right? So you're getting my idea? Or two third or something like this. Three is to one means total we have four parts and out of four, three is land, one is water. In this case, right? For the given example. So three fourth of the area. So we have to find three over four of 500, 5, 10 million, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it okay? So this is what we'll calculate, right? So we'll do 510 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 3 and divide this by 4. So you get your answer as equal to 382,500,000. Is it okay? So that much kilometer square. So that is how you are going to find the surface area of the land. Hmm? Perfect. So I hope the concept is clear. Now let's move on and take the last question which is question number 4. I like you to read this question, solve and then look into my suggestions. And let me take a small break. We will just go for a walk, come back with a fresh mind. We will do question number 4. I hope that makes sense. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the nature that was very beautiful. Now let's get back to the last question of this series on curved surface area of a sphere. Question number four. A hemisphere bowl is made of steel, 0.25 centimeter thick. The inner radius of the bowl is five centimeters. Find the outer curved surface area of the bowl. So let's think that this is like a bowl given like this, correct? Okay, what we are saying here is that it has a layer, right? So, so it has a layer. So this is your inner layer. So I'm just trying to make it like this. Okay. Okay. And the thickness is given to us as 0 0.25. 
right? So, so we know the thickness. So the inner radius, we say inner radius equals to five centimeter thickness is 0 0.25 centimeters. So outer radius is how much? Is 5 plus 0 0.25, which is 5.25 centimeters. Perfect. So you have to find the outer radius, which is up to this place, and that is 5.25. Do you see that? So that is the first step. Now, curved surface area formula, you know. So the curved surface area is is 4 times pi r square, right? So which is equals to 4 times 3.14 times 5.25 whole square, correct? And the units will be centimeters square. So let's do it. So we have 4 times 3.14 times 5.25 whole square equals to, in decimals, 346 point one eight right so we'll round it to three forty six so it is approximately equal to three hundred forty six centimeters square correct so that is how you are going to solve this question I hope it makes sense right so next section we'll talk about volume right so we'll talk about volume so you can begin with the volume of this particular Hemisphere, that will be a great question, right? So volume formula for a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. This is for volume of a sphere, not hemisphere, right? So volume of a sphere is, is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So now the question for you is find volume of this hemisphere right so that is the question for you it's kind of tricky at this stage so for this volume what should be the radius right so when we say volume we mean the inside volume perfect so keep that in mind so I hope this exercise really helped you to understand all about sphere surface area right the curve surface area so we also derived uh, an estimated uh, formula for a sphere, correct? It was kind of an experiment. It is interesting. You can try to do it and then you'll figure out that uh, you can make two circles of radius R from one sphere, hemisphere, okay? With one full sphere, you get four circles. Therefore, formula is 4 pi R square. So everything was based on this 4 pi R square. Now we'll have a test based on this, all this what we have learned. And uh, the formula given to you for volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. In the next section, we'll look into volume of a sphere and then take related questions. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. I hope uh, you like the video, also the nature, and uh, all the best. Thank you.